You guys, me and Karina are going to see a Bad Bunny concert in a couple weeks. We are so excited. Just in general, the summer concerts, girl. I am so excited. Today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. You guys, we've actually never seen Bad Bunny, and we've been right. getting into his music lately, and we're actually so excited because we're attending literally, like, next week. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. With artists like Aventura, Javi, Bad Bunny, and Peso Pluma going on tour, you don't want to miss it. I actually really want to go see Peso Pluma live. That would be crazy. That would be fun, yeah. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 through 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. That makes it so much easier to read because you know you're getting the right ticket. Like, you know where not to go. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know we came through for you guys. Use our code Chins and Giggles for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Chins and Giggles. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. How are y'all doing? Welcome back <laughs> to Chins and Giggles episode 102. You literally just sounded like those people on the radio like, what the heck? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what the like fuck they super say. Mellow? Like those like Christmas. The ones playing ones? at like two AM. Like the Christmas ones, like I don't even know what the fuck they say, but they'll be like, Welcome back. Blah, blah, blah. And then a fucking like Christmas Carol starts playing. You're talking about the radio station. The the yeah, one that plays the Christmas music. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. You just thought it was giving radio voice. You know? Jingle bells, like why? Also, oh my god, I just looked at viewfinder and I was like, holy <laughs> shit, I forgot. I look crazy. No, you don't. I, girl. It's a no makeup kind of day, bitch, because let me tell you, it it's been a long day, bitch. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's eat, girl. Okay, we have so some food. You know how I've been eating? telling y'all I'm like, I feel like we should have these fun little like trying out just shit you know like yeah. i don't know like a little like um testing out some food we saw on tiktok so i've been seeing the sprout sandwich like crazy on tiktok have you seen it you know what i came across a couple videos and i was like when you told me about it i was like period i mean <laughs> i don't shop at sprouts so i thought i would never see this day i, I don't i don't either i don't know what <laughs> it is about the sprout sandwiches so the, I think the Ooh, biggest thing Maya, uh, is that they're five dollars. So like, why does it smell like a sponsor? <laughs> I'm like, they're only four ninety nine. Vegan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but they are these sandwiches that I've just seen all over TikTok. And then I was just hungry in general, so I was like, what if we like try some TikTok food? You know? So um, this uh, I think they're just popular they're right huge, now. First of all, they're pretty big, yeah. And I think that they're uh, kind of like becoming like uh, popular because they're only five dollars and they're like really good. They say. The one that you have is the one that people are ordering a lot. Yeah, I got the turkey sandwich. Yeah, so that one, let me tell you guys the order, because this is how I've seen it it's on, on TikTok. Here, baby. It's on there, okay. Mm -hmm. Sourdough bread, turkey meat, toppings, lettuce, tomato, red onion, mayonnaise, mustard, and the add-ons, avocado, provolone, cheese, uh -huh. extra meat, and mm. uh, special instructions, toasted and salt and pepper. You know what? The extra meat had to be roll because he oh. he always adds extra meat, and I fucking love that okay, he did that. Period. You got the tuna. I got tuna just. I'm in my tuna era. Okay. Period. That's just why I was like, I'll just get tuna, but I'll try that one too. I was gonna say, we could probably do half and half. We could do yes. Let's do that. Ooh, girl. So I just been seeing it. I was like, what is up with this fucking sandwich? Like, how can how exciting can a sandwich get? <laughs> like exciting. you know how there's people that like love sandwiches <laughs> i was gonna say happy thursday or friday whenever y'all listening because i was just like ooh, happy and then you started talking i'm so, they're gonna so be sorry like, happy happy what girl i didn't even realize like i'm so stupid <laughs> they're gonna be like she's really happy about this turkey sandwich <laughs> imagine my bad. Imagine. All right, Queen. So should we Pop just her open? Let's the just... bitch open. I'm hungry. Imagine like <laughs> all bad. Like, like I put it there. We've been waiting for this shit. Imagine like what? I I like it. It feels nice and toasty too. Guys, we should do this. Comment down below. You want you want us to try next? Okay. Uh, it being wrapped in foil is just giving what it's supposed to give. You feel okay. me? Like it's just giving. Like I feel like anything wrapped it's in foil. Bitch, I know it's gonna be good. 
It's giving yeah. like, like a burrito, bitch. It's giving sprouts. It's giving rich, mama. I mean, it's like, it's giving sprouts. <laughs> She's a peas queen. Just, girl, just give me whatever the fuck. I'm like that, Karina. Uh, every time I make food for me and Brian, especially when I notice that <laughs> that one of the plates has more food, I'm like, just choose, honey. I don't, I feel weird choosing. It's anyway. fine. I can't even take more than two bites like that. <laughs> okay, guys, okay. this is what she looks like. Okay. She's a little thick. She's I thick. look crazy. She's also, um, juicy with the the mustard is what they asked for yeah so i don't know i mean it's just i just seen it everywhere it looks so good uh, i can't even smell okay. that much because i'm i'm so congested right now i've also like i'm i have a it cold right now y'all really good okay cheers take a bite queen let's go mm, oh hey mm-hmm <laughs> Flavor is giving flavor. I For like me, it. I feel like I'm not like a crazy sandwich girl. I have to really crave a sandwich to be like, yes, I want a sandwich. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's I mean, good. It's something the rich girlies would probably eat. The rich girlies. Mm-hmm. You know what I haven't, haven't tried until this day? Air Juan. What is that? <laughs> the grocery store that's like really crazy expensive. Ooh, girl. That's why I haven't heard of it. <laughs> This is not gonna lie though, it's really good. It is good. It's just the bread is sitting. This is my memory. We used to live across like a sandwich place like a couple years ago, remember? What sandwich place? When we lived at the other house. Panera bread? Girl, no, not Panera bread. We had the waffle sandwiches. I forgot. Like that. Mm-hmm. That's an un- unlocking in memory. And let me tell you, I had never tried sandwiches like that. I mean, bitches can be booty for five dollars. This okay. shit is four ninety nine, Myra. Okay. I mean, honestly, like, I will say, yeah, like, because I'm looking at Are it. Are trying like, the tuna one? Let's try the tuna. I'm all excited. I'm <laughs> honestly impressed. Because for me, like, I'm really, like, I have to see it for what it is. Like, five bucks, bitch. Like, it's a really fancy looking sandwich. And it's actually really good. Because, like, you think about rich people, I have a theory that they... They lack flavor, girl. And these actually are flavorful. Like, is Sprouts... For me... Is it a Sprouts rich store? is like a rich store. Yeah. Is Trader Joe's the same vibe? Because I've always felt Trader Joe's was already out, very out of my league. Do you feel that? I don't even want to Trader Joe's, yeah. Trader Joe's is like, baby, it's like. And it's funny, Myra, because like a lot of people like probably just go there and they're like, what do you mean it's not even expensive? Maybe it's just not in our community. Tax bracket. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> tax bracket, <laughs> bitch, bye. No, I truly feel like anytime I've gone to Trader Joe's, I've probably only gone like once or twice, twice in my life, girl. Okay, tuna salad, y'all. I'm a tuna bitch. Okay, is it just tuna inside of it? It's tuna cheese and other shit. I don't know. I am fucking with tuna these days, bitch. Tuna is good. Okay, tuna queen. Okay, mm-hmm. I've really been fucking with her. Like, what tuna? Is tuna like a tuna's a fish? Duh. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's tuna. It's the fish, huh? That's crazy, right? <laughs> Bye, but ooh. Sorry. And salmon is salmon. That's crazy. Girl. Like, if you really think about it, like, the fish is called salmon. Mm-hmm. Oh, bitch. It's, it smells like fish. Oh, it smells, girl. <laughs> okay. I, I like did know that. Tuna. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I like fish, but when it smells like fish, I'm like, it's not giving Mara. Mm. What is it? Oh, well, girl, it's not giving. Really? Is it too fishy? It's that lettuce or something in here. It's the fucking fish, bitch. It's a fish. I don't like it. This shit tastes like fish. I don't like it. I'm sorry, baby. I like canned tuna. I should have specified. I should have been specific. Yeah, canned. I don't think it's that cream. It's the lettuce in here. It's the fucking fish for me. I don't like it either. Here. I'm so disappointed in sprouts. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sprouts, we love you. I'm all scared. <laughs> sprouts, baby. <laughs> The fish is together, man. The fish is too fresh. The fish is fishing for sure, girl. The fish it's, is too fresh for my tax bracket. Imagine no, it's 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 a. I think it's like a lettuce in there or something. Bitch, it's a fish for me. It tastes too much like fish. You know how like sometimes you eat chicken and it just tastes like chicken, and you're like, guess what? Like, you can't taste right now. Imagine. No, I I'm so congested, bitch. I don't know. I'm like, that's why today I was like, I'm coming out with no fucking makeup. I don't care how shitty I look. It's not my day today. I can't even fucking breathe, bitch. I can't even, like, really salivate this. And that fish potent is just too much. Mm-hmm. The fish is too much. It's the same thing when you eat meat. You know how, like, sometimes, what is it about that, like, 
when you'll be eating chicken and you're like, it tastes too much like chicken mm-hmm. and you get disgusted. It tastes like meat. Like or like it. when you taste meat and it tastes too much like meat. Mm-hmm. That tasted like fish. I don't fuck with real fish. I liked, no, I do. I love fish. It's just not like. I think it's the way it's made, girl. It's too fishy for me. Like. I wish there was avocado and like lettuce and stuff. It's just lettuce with cheese and tuna. It's a weird combination. But that sounds so good. It's just not the tuna I like. I like, I really like canned tuna. Maybe it's one of those things that you have to eat more than once to like it. Maybe it's fresh tuna. You know, I was like that about sushi for many years. I never liked it until I convinced oh, myself I to like sushi it. Now. Mm-hmm. But it was one of those things that you had to. What is something that you feel like maybe you didn't fuck with in the I beginning? Think and you eventually did. I think that your taste palette, like your your earbuds, earbuds, <laughs> baby, but not the earbuds, bitch. <laughs> the taste buds. I feel like they change over time because I never fucked with uh with sushi like that. Mm-hmm. Like I could not. I always thought sushi looked delicious. Like she looked the fucking part. Mm-hmm. But then when I would actually eat it, I was like, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. And I felt like that about like raw sushi too and stuff. I felt like that about pho. Remember pho. And now I fuck with all of that. Mm-hmm. I love it now. I love raw fucking fish now. But I can't eat fucking tuna. Like, what? I mean, it's just fish. No, I love raw tuna. It's the fish, too. Raw tuna is my favorite. It's good. Mm-hmm. Raw tuna, like, mm, some sauce. It looks red, huh? Yeah, it's so good. It's funny because um, Brian does not, like, fuck with raw meat. Well, it's kind of, like, good. And no, I'm not risking anything. Is when it? we go eat sushi He's convinced, and I hope he's not listening to this episode because he's not going to eat this damn sushi again. He is convinced that it's mil- mixed with salsa, and that's why it's red. And I told him once, I'm like, it's raw. He's like, no, it's mixed with salsa. That's why it looks red. <gasps> and every Wait. time we go, I'm like, that shit looks transparent. It's not salsa. It's a damn tuna. He thinks it's cooked meat. Because it's, it's called spicy tuna. He thinks there's a spice in it. The fucking tuna is raw, girl. It's raw. So and it's fucking. I'm it. living it that fantasy, smoked. knowing he's eating it raw. I'm like, sometimes it's so it's good. He doesn't even has no idea. Sometimes it could be smoked fish, and like it still looks raw, but it's like smoked. So like, but like, technically, if he knew it was like the re- the the red was the meat, he would not be for it. And I've been new, and I just see him eat it, and I'm like, period. Imagine, because I enjoy it. I love it. It's probably the only thing I could eat raw. Honestly. I'm actually sad because I really thought I was gonna fucking love their tuna. But anyways, yeah, sprouts. I could. I don't even know if I've like probably been there like once. Mm. Sprouts like. I feel Trader like Trader Joe's feels boot. Well, shit. I don't know. I've always felt Trader Joe's was like untouchable. It's okay. So this is the thing. I feel like Trader Joe's, Maya, to like the typical person in LA, it's like a Stater Brothers to them. You know because what? They're more. They're more local. Over Growing there. up, going to like El Super and Gardenas and shit. I thought Stater Brothers was untouchable. <laughs> Until I became an adult and Stater Brothers is the only store I go to. Stater, I go to Stater Brothers. There's different tax brackets for these grocery stores, girl. Yeah. For me, like, Stater Brothers is uh, the closest one. Yeah. And, and maybe if there was, like, a guy than us closer, like, of course we would go. Uh-huh. But Stater Brothers is, like, our store. Like, I yeah. just go Same. and... I know the store left and right, you know? I feel like, like, I'm thinking, Mara, like, when you were in L.A., like, there was more, like, Trader Joe's and stuff like that, like, uh-huh. nearby. Okay. So you would go to them more. If it's the only thing near you, like, I get it. Mm-hmm. I kind of get it. Um, Sprouts. I haven't seen I a... I almost thought Sprouts and Trader Joe's were the same thing. Sprouts, I feel like, is a little bit more... Is it even Is it even an expensive store? I don't even know. I just know that once I had gone to a store, I don't know if it was Trader Joe's or Sprouts, and everything was like organic. The peanut the butter was like organic. It was not. You were not seeing any Jiffy Browns there, girl. Was it or sprouts? I feel like sprouts. You know what I mean? Where I was like, bitch, everything here is like was made last night. <laughs> it, must, it was probably <laughs> by. You know what I mean, though? Like straight from the farm yesterday. <laughs> like, for real. I'm like, damn. Freaking cardboard, everything. I'm like, girl. I'll be is- seeing like the LA girly influencers. Okay. They'll be going to, yeah, like, they'll do Trader Joe's hauls or the Sprouts or Air One. And I'm like, that's crazy. That's like your own. Your, but because at the same time over there, there's probably more of those grocery stores. Mm-hmm. They probably don't have Stater Brothers. It sounds stupid, y'all, because we're only like an hour out. But 
I feel like those stores are more common in those areas. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think there's a fucking Trader Joe's nearby here. Costco. Costco's where it's at, bitch. Costco is. Costco. Crazy. I'll be walking into Costco, bitch. And I'm looking around like, how do y'all profit? <laughs> like, for real. Like, how do y'all fucking profit? Because that shit is like hella inexpensive for both. Costco like memberships, girl. <laughs> the memberships, huh? <laughs> don't think like, so. have you actually ever gone to a Costco market and done a whole like grocery run? And you're like, oh my gosh, that wasn't even half of what I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, girl. I have been, I want to say cloud nine, but it's a, it's a, a different feeling when it's emotional, shock, excited, happy. Noah turned one, Mm y'all. Happy birthday to Noah. He literally turned on April 8th, which was yesterday. But when you're watching (laughs) this, y'all know. Uh, By the time they're watching this, I'm so fucking annoying. No, 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 girl, you're fine. I'm in the wrong week. Never mind. No. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> I'm crying. in the wrong week. Wait, I what? literally thought you were going to start crying out. week. like, I don't know what I was going to say. Like, what's happening here? What? I'm in the wrong week. I'm sorry. Ignore what the I fuck know, I said. I didn't mention it last week because his birthday already passed, but I, my head was in the wrong <laughs> place last week. Um, But his birthday was April 8th yesterday, and we are doing his birthday party this following Sunday. So, yeah, I'm excited. A queen. Lots of planning, and... I've been kind of on cloud nine, but like I said, I'm like, it's so emotional, right? Like, I. <laughs> that first birthday is always like so I emotional. Was crying, and then I was happy, I was sad, and then I was grateful, and I was like, it was just like a. I can't even explain it. I'm like, it makes me. And, and all mamas out there, like, including Ukraine, I'm sure, like, it makes you sad knowing that, like, you're not counting the months anymore. Oh, yeah. I- yeah, it was get- such a big deal to me because I made sure I took a picture of every like month milestone, like uh-huh. with this little sign. Yes. And on his birthday, Brian brought bar- bar- <laughs> <laughs> Brian. I thought brought- you were about to burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> Brian brought out the 12 month little sign. Aww. And we actually did not take a picture with it, which I'm like, why didn't Well, his you? birthday was yesterday, baby. <laughs> Take it was like I know, right? I'm like he had his like birthday shoe already, so I wasn't uh, gonna post uh, twelve month. Maybe just for us, I guess I'll take it. But I had an emotional moment because it was routine every single month to take a milestone picture, and I'm like, that's it. Like, what are you gonna do? Thirteen months, fourteen. Like, I ain't gonna be that mom, girl. You know what? I feel like after Mia turned one, I do remember being sad that I didn't count the months anymore. But yeah, I do now. Just go off like she's two, three. I mean, Mia's about to be three in liter- literally a week. Like, Noah and Mia are, like, 11 days apart. Yeah. They're 11 days apart. It's crazy. Yeah, like, two years and 11 days apart. Yeah, yeah. Not literally 11 <laughs> days. But, yeah. like, their birthday. They're actually, like, yeah, their birthday. Which is so crazy that they're April babies. That they're both April babies. That's funny, huh? That's actually so crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, so his birthday's coming up. Lots of planning. Um, Yeah. We're doing it Sunday, and it's funny because yesterday we were not going to do anything because of the damn eclipse, y'all. Did you guys see the eclipse? Because not going to lie, the videos I was seeing, it was pretty iconic. It was crickets out here. And you know what? It was crickets out in California, but my dad did say that he saw it, which if y'all saw the eclipse with your bare eyes, Mm -hmm. baby... Have y'all not heard the news? Like y'all were not on TikTok or something. You're not supposed. You're not supposed to look at it. Like you're never without. To, you're never supposed to look at it with your raw eyes. You're never ever. supposed to look at the sun. Period. With like you know. Do you know why though? They make you wear. Why is it stronger to look at an eclipse? Oh, as compared to just looking at the sun. Oh, it's worse because your eyes dilate when you look at the sun. Right, your eyes already prepare for it because it's the sun. But when there's an eclipse, the moon is covering it, so your eyes are not dilating, but you're getting really strong um, rays of the sun, but it's dark, so your eyes are Oh my gosh, I thought, not it was, I thought it was just like, don't look at the sun, dumbass. Like that, that it's was worse like than that. looking at the sun. Oh my God. That's Even crazy. if it's for seconds, because your eyes are not dilating, your eyes are not protecting you. Whoa. Yeah. So it confuses you. So, and they say that it gradually, like, it, it's such so strong that it literally, your eyes are not being protected, and it like, it's burning them. And gradually, you start becoming, like, not necessarily blind, blind but people start seeing, like, a dark, like, circle. <gasps> and They, they see you, the eclipse for life. You know, like, what? <laughs> Baby, you're seeing the eclipse for life, basically. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. 
Yeah. Crazy. So my dad was saying, oh, you looked at it. He's like, oh, it's okay. I had sunglasses. I was like, this was not on TikTok. I you know what, like, Raul, too? He's like, I pulled out some of your sunglasses to look at the eclipse. Too, girl. With these men, girl. <laughs> Uh, okay i told my dad i was like that's not gonna do it but go off i don't know how long you looked at it for queen thankfully we didn't have like a full eclipse in california it was like my dad compared it to like them being kind of side by side i was like okay good because i heard that it just like grazed over it like yeah i'm like that was it a little high five yeah that's basically high what five. it was but that for was the it. Yeah. We got to see it it's it looks crazy. so cool it in texas huh dark in mexico to mazatlan it looked yeah. crazy no wonder ancient times they thought the world was ending girl can you imagine yeah they're like why the fuck did it go dark at 11 a.m they're <laughs> probably thinking like it's ending and then it, the sun comes back and they're thinking like this is a warning i just want to imagine know, like back in the day mara before like nasa was a thing before astronauts were a thing like well they worshipped right like the sun and the stars and the moon and stuff Mm -hmm. so they were seeing them like collide as like what the fuck you know two gods colliding you know like they they don't know like were they going blind seeing the eclipse like girl you know them sunnies were not That's they didn't crazy. have sunglasses back in you know what i mean bc like, baby you know? we're like oh shoot like i'm going blind yeah or like just yeah that's like scary things i don't know like i just always like to think back at those times i'm like how did they see all that stuff you know like what did they perceive everything to be when yeah. they didn't know what it was out there they thought the world was ending <laughs> oh my God. literally so i don't know i think yesterday i just had like a realization of just like social media like the impact they can do yeah and so many people were mortified that too, yeah it was just gonna be a crazy day to stock up on water well literally noah's birthday happened to have landed on the eclipse on day. the eclipse which you know, now that it did happen, I did get a lot of, like, messages saying, like, oh, my God, it's actually so, like, powerful that his birthday was on the eclipse. Oh, really? And I'm like, you know, yeah, it's actually crazy because his birthday alone was powerful. Like, the day he was born, he was born on Holy Saturday. Oh. The day before Easter, he was born on Holy Saturday, and his birthday was on the eclipse. I'm like, baby, that little boy, <laughs> like, it's crazy, okay. right? So we were scared y'all like we were like oh my god everybody on tiktok i'm sure the news too like they were saying don't go out a lot of kids were not going to school like we didn't send us to school because yes and there was actually some districts school districts that completely yeah. didn't have school period yeah Luis told us last night he said that he didn't send his kids to school because he thought the world was gonna fucking end and he was like we're all dying together and that's why he didn't send his kids to school. Ideals. That gave me such a reality check, though, how we really could believe anything. But Myra, like, I'm not, you know what? I, how many fucking eclipses have we had? Karina, and everybody always seen the world's going to end. We don't know right? when the world's going to end, period. We thought this one was different because everybody was because like, everybody had like it was up. That happens every time. It always gets hyped up like that. It my was mom was tripping. This crazy. My mom was tripping the night before, like, go to the grocery store. We need to stock up. We're not going to have light for oh. three days. I was like, we have it's three minutes, baby. Not three days. The, the garage is filled with stacks of water. Brian got one day just came with stacks of Y'all really got ready for the apocalypse, bitch. Like, oh, we, we were thinking the worst. Brian came with, like, bags of beans right bags of beans it's crazy because i had a conversation with my mom and i'm like what's the easiest thing you could survive with like and stuff i mean this could like, be stocked up beans i was like that's what we're gonna eat for the three dark days baby and my mom, our bright as day i'm like my mom is. was tripping yeah <laughs> tripping no she was like she was really i mean we were all me. tripping girl keep it real <laughs> no, i know but i didn't think it was gonna be dark for three days straight i was like it's literally well, i like, thought there was a possibility <laughs> okay but my mom my, my mom was like on our ass like guys we need to go to the grocery store yeah. we need to stock up for three days we're not gonna be able to touch outside because of the radiation and all that shit you know yeah radiation i don't know she was just saying like how like i don't know how she imagined like mystical creatures out there for three days straight Bitch. i don't know yeah it's apocalypse <laughs> she imagined like three days of apocalypse i don't know uh -huh. and i was like i think even my dad was like son tres minutos no tres días yeah like, that is that like <laughs> It's cause but I did hear that. I think that was a biblical thing with okay. like the three dark days, and people Ooh. were like connecting it because they're like all these things. Are I happening think they were and, thinking like, like if it's three dark days, 
then that then it's biblical, right? That's why they were speaking. Yeah, because like all these disasters happening, and then everything everything was just like people were Look freaking at out. In New York, bitch. Exactly. The people f- were freaking out, girl. That's crazy. Yeah. Somebody was saying like, "Well, the bridge that got knocked down. Oh, like, are they trying to God. stop people from like?" pleading i'm like girl y'all just giving me anxiety like it's so much, honestly girl. the night before his birthday i we went to the story but we got cake mix because the plan was like we were just not going to do anything because like i spoke mm-hmm. to my mom she's like i sure ass how i ain't going out i was like period like as you should yeah. Karina was like i'm staying in my room i'm like period you should <laughs> i know i'm over here like <laughs> i wasn't scared <laughs> this bitch said she was gonna be locked in her room i was like baby you go downstairs my lines shut in my room in my closet Imagine <laughs> you literally girl oh, no, i was scared i'm not gonna lie i think we all were like i, I mean it was good. everybody was making such a big scene out of it so i and i told people I'm like do not come to my house please stay safe in your home close your blinds like i was very like about like don't let sunlight hit your home like why <laughs> yeah you told that's what you said like to close your blinds and don't let any sunlight come in and shit it was a little crazy because i didn't even do that either and there's, isn't it crazy because there's people that are so opposite my there's people that are like you know i feel like in the latin culture a lot of us are so scared of the eclipse and we yeah. think that like there's so many myths like with pregnant women like they have oh, to put yeah. like a stone over their belly they have to like put a ribbon over their belly with like um pins basically or if not it's said that the eclipse is gonna either like give or take from the baby and they believe that your baby will be born with like a cleft lip, uh, missing limbs. Um, technically, like you know, it's myths that we hereby you know live by. My dad literally wrapped the avocado trees in red ribbon. My dad did that. My dad put red ribbons on his avocado trees. Oh, I thought that was so cute. I was like, he, and he called that? my mom on eclipse morning because he wasn't home. Like, and he called my mom and he's like. I need you to go outside and put a ribbon all on all the fruit trees. Guys, if you don't know, I have over a hundred fruit trees. My mom was like, I ain't putting shit on nothing. And she doesn't know. <laughs> She's like, you got me fucked up. Oh, like how the hell was she going to go up? She was already scared as fuck to go outside because of the eclipse. Ooh. Like you don't want to put a ribbon on your wife, huh? Right? <laughs> like she's always all sacrificing, like <laughs> all sacrificing herself, putting the fucking. But he cares about his fruit trees. <laughs> yeah, but it's. I thought that was so fucking cute how my dad tied up his avocado trees. Honestly, King, like that just shows like because he didn't want to he is. Oh, like right, because <laughs> he didn't want the eclipse to like fuck up his avocado mm-hmm. trees. I was like, what an icon, King. actually, because I have seen that on TikTok and I thought it was funny, but I was like, my dad did that shit. My family would never do that. And, like, like, it was he probably did. my mom to put him on all the trees. My mom was like, you got me fucked up. There's over a hundred trees. She, I'm not. She out here locked in her room, girl. She she's gonna... like, fuck the trees. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, why would he think that we're gonna go out there right now I mean, and it's like wrap up? That counted. That's so cute. And then my mom, it was like, my, it was already like 1 p.m. My mom was like, all in the kitchen, like, waiting, like, what is it going to happen? Like, I was like, it happened at 11 a.m. 10 a.m. No, it already happened, Queen. And she was like, what? Like, she didn't even know what happened. I was like, exactly. Uh, it's over with, Queen. Well, yeah, you were at, when you were at Raptor wrapping those ribbons, I imagine. <laughs> and, and you know, it's funny because when I woke up to that morning, too, like, I woke up and went to the restroom and I could see, like, the trees outside through the window, like, breezing. I was like, it's such a beautiful day. Wow, does it look beautiful to step out into the sun? Imagine like, <laughs> and I was like, that's the devil talking. Imagine no, like, oh, no. Yeah, I was stupid, like, Why? So basically, but. nothing happened. And at some point, Karina texted me. She's like, it feels so wrong that we're not at your house with Noah. Like, it for his birthday. Wrong. And I started thinking about it because me and Brian had a whole talk. We're like, damn. Like, I was like, literally looking outside the windows as the eclipse was going on. And it probably got like, nublado maybe for like, like it didn't feel i didn't feel nothing girl nothing and i was thinking i'm like all right when are we gonna move on to the the um what's it called when's the portal opening <laughs> when's the portal opening like, crazy when, when's the supernatural thing is going on imagine <laughs> i'm like everything looks the same that's what i was saying it was a beautiful day everybody takes it differently myra like you could talk to different cultures and they would be like People who don't believe in that, that would be like, what do you mean? I watched the eclipse. You didn't want to look at it. You know, there's people like, and there's people that are like, oh my gosh, like scared of it. It's just, yeah. I know, it's just like a Latin culture. Fair, no, but to be fair, social media made a big deal out of it this year. Like more than any other eclipse, to be fair. I mean, it's TikTok. It's crazy. It's and the it TikTok just era. Really gave me the realization, like, <laughs> you don't, don't believe everything you hear. I really do feel though, like, 
the sun i mean the moon obviously i feel like the way the planets do align like it does kind of like it could shift our moods like just like the moon creates waves like i feel like it's i feel like this week is off and i don't know if it's because of the eclipse or what could be but the week is fucking off bitch. like i do believe in it like i truly i feel like if i would have been pregnant i would be the kind wrapping a ribbon like i would have been the one with the body pen of course i just feel like obviously to an extent like just to be when safe. i was like afraid of it i was trying to think positive i was like god is god got us we don't know none of us know of course they will you know come. and like, you like naturally I'm, just, I'm like it's just like no like we shouldn't be i afraid think it's of more this. like being safe you're like what's up you know you but, might as well wear red but i do feel just like the too. vibes could be different like i got the whole the whole thing about closing the blinds and not letting the sun in somebody on tiktok it was like someone um i'm not sure exactly what they studied but it was very like in their culture they believe in like bad energy like if you just step out so i was like okay like let's just not risk it i don't know like i feel like with any little theory yeah. there's some truth to it so i was like <gasps> but you know what happened right anyway it was like, like 5 p.m our whole family was coming over mm -hmm. i made pozole verde just like I did for Brian Cito's birthday. It was very Brian Cito's birthday vibe, huh? It was, yeah. So, yeah. I actually, I remember saying I was going to make this a tradition. For Brian Cito's first birthday, my mom made the pozole. Yeah. Because I was just really craving pozole verde, like with chicken. And for his second birthday, I was like, I'm going to learn how to make it. And sure enough, I learned how to make it. And for Noah's first birthday, because it was just going to be the three of us, me, Brian, and Noah, I literally had just bought cake mix the night before. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we're all going to be, like, literally quarantining. It was very that vibe. I'm like, we're not going to go out. We'll probably, like, Instacart something. But we're just going to make cake. And plans changed quick. It was, like, 4 p.m. We're like, let's just do something. So I bought stuff for Pozole. And we made a cake. Well, Karina actually made the cake while I was making the pozole. And I it was so last minute, huh? it, bitch. It was actually really good, though, Karina. I liked it. We did chocolate frosting. And I made the pozole. It was so like rushed. It was so, but I feel like it was so cute because we had like the whole family there. We sang happy birthday to Noah. <sighs> and now his birthday party is on Sunday. Wow. His but party. all the, all the commotion for the damn eclipse girl, like. <laughs> so there's a meme on TikTok that says, I believe everything I see on TikTok, just like my mom believes everything she sees on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And that is so fucking real. Because I genuinely will That's see me. shit on TikTok and, and I'm like, it's the young folks know what they're saying. I was just you know? talking to Tony, our, our hairstylist, who was doing my hair earlier. And we were just talking about like, I think I was telling him because so Noah, he was drinking formula, obviously. And now we're transitioning into whole milk. And I was just telling him how like yesterday he had whole milk for the first time and how I don't know, like, if it's too strong for him, maybe I should try something different. Like, what if he's, like, lactose intolerant? Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, we just got into a whole topic about, like, he thinks he he's lactose intolerant because he always has an upset stomach. And I was telling him, too, I'm like, I don't know, like, my stomach do be turning, like, a lot of the times. Like, and I feel like me and you have also had, me and Karina have had this conversation where I'm like, girl, like, you know, your bowel movements, are, are they always, like, consistent you know I've well this conversation before queen right i've heard that most of the population is lactose intolerant and i told him i'm like we have no business in drinking cow's milk exactly and that's why i know like i'm not trying to be that mom like oh my son can't have that but i did feel weird like going straight to whole milk i did so i'm right. looking at like other options so mama's out there like let me know what y'all recommend you didn't like it yeah yeah but I started talking to him about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm getting so much reassurance just you telling me that it could be like that I'm lactose intolerant because TikTok got me so scared about colon cancer, girl. Oh, yeah. It's everywhere. I think like starting your 30s, you should get a colonoscopy mm -hmm. and you're seeing so many young people get it and it's just scary. And it just like, obviously, you just start overthinking. I'm like, well, my stomach's always upset. Like, bitch, I like on a rabbit hole, going into a rabbit hole, girl. And it's so important you to do You could be that. lactose intolerant. You could also be like, um, <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But you can't eat glucose. No, not glucose. Sorry. You can't eat gluten. Bitch, you're not glucose free. Isn't that your like sugar or something? I know. <laughs> I know.
Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When you hear those words, you can feel good knowing that. State Farm is there to help you feel supported with the coverage you need for your car, your home, and even boats, motorcycles, RVs, and other things that matter to you. Now, let me tell you, girl, I don't got a boat, a motorcycle, or an RV, but State Farm covers my home and my car. With a State Farm agent, you know someone is there to help protect your future by helping you choose the coverage you need. With so many coverage options, it feels good knowing you can find what fits for you. And you know what? Getting insurance can be so intimidating because you don't know exactly what you need. So having an agent that could help you with each step makes it so much easier. Girl, I feel you on that. So when things get complicated and you need ways to get help, State Farm gives you options there too. Maybe you like to handle things in person or on the phone with your local agent, or you prefer to do it on statefarm.com or on the award-winning app. State Farm lets you do things your way. I personally am the type of gal that likes to do things through an app. It just makes it more easier than going in person or hopping on a call. So I love that they have that option available. Girl, I like to use an app too. I'm not trying to pull up a person or or a call because I'm way too, I have too much social anxiety for that. I'm trying to do it on the app. So that's why I'm here with State Farm. And that is why, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> Bitch, I am not, I'm like here, but I'm not here because I'm like, I don't know what, <coughs> my throat is itchy. I feel like, I don't know, I'm, it's definitely a cold. I have like a cold and I'm so congested and I'm just like, ugh. Like I have brain fog, just constant brain fog. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Anyways, it was, I don't know, it just got me thinking, I'm like. We are lactose intolerant because for as a long lot as of people known, are, and we just never like cared about it. I guess my heart like, too good, girl. Is it, is it <laughs> more of the population lactose and non lactose? And you know what? I had a realization today too. I used to think spicy noodles like made me like give me gave me the runs. I'm like, nah, it's all that cheese I'm putting on it. <laughs> cheese, the milk. Yes, girl. All of it. I well, my noodles. When you really think about it, like. Why the fuck are we drinking cow's products? Like, why do we as human beings need to get any nutrients from a fucking cow? Mm-hmm. They make that milk for their babies, not for us. Remember they used to say, Mid- <sighs> remember all the signs at school about it making your bones strong? That's a myth. You know that, right? I mean, I know it has certain vitamins, no, but, but you that's don't like need an that from myth. a cow. Yeah, you don't need that from a cow. Like, that milk is made for their fucking babies. It's like... A species living off our breast milk and saying that they need it for a specific vitamin in their body, bitch. Like, bitch, this shit is made for my kids. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck do we need a cow's milk? Like, it don't even make sense. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make any fucking sense, bitch. Yeah. And you know what's so funny? In that same sentence of me saying that we don't need fucking cow's milk, mm-hmm. why the fuck we drinking cow's milk? Yeah. I'm that same bitch cringing if there's somebody like, I only drink almond milk. And I'm over here thinking, like, of course you do almond, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but it's funny, crazy. though, because I'm in the same sentence I'm saying we shouldn't drink fucking cow's milk. No, because like, this is milk. exactly what happened. Literally, me and Brian. So we're always we're trying to find the best milk for Noah. Of course, we're, you know, transitioning from formula to milk. I mean, to another milk. I'm like, what do we give him? So I was like the almond bitch. You just said it right now, girl. You should. I was like, he's going to have almond milk. But then I started looking at like almond milk dehydrates you and all this. I'm like, okay, everything's wrong with everything, girl. Like everything has a defect. I'm like, so what's good for us? I know. I don't know, Queen. But I do, I will say, I do feel like the whole milk was. Oat like, milk is delicious. Much. Oat milk? Oat milk is Ooh. good. Can he have oat milk? I think I'm going to really look into what works for him. Look at, I don't know. I don't know, like for babies, but. But I, I don't know. I heard good. almond milk dehydrates people so i was like okay so what can you eat queen <laughs> Imagine. i don't know i love whole milk i mean it's i don't think good. we need it like for what but and i'm definitely like i know i'm um lactose intolerant but i love it like if i'm gonna eat ice cream i know i'm gonna get the shits i'm gonna if i'm gonna eat anything with cheese like i know it's gonna upset my stomach but i do it anyway it's worth it i don't even do the whole thing you know how people will take like um medicine for it I'm like, I just let my body go through the fucking just consequences. A, a freaking cleanse. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes if I really want to, like, take a good shit, I'll eat lactose. Oh, lactose you plan it. Like, if I'm constipated. Okay. That's funny. I do, Myra. Like, oh. like, because sometimes I do get constipated at the house. 
and I'll be like, oh my god, it's been days. So I will literally be like, I'm a, I'm a, you know what? Two and one, a treat and a fucking cleanse, bitch. That's crazy. I will go get myself a fucking milkshake, baby. That's a DIY colon cleanse at home. A treat and cleanse is crazy. <laughs> yes, Myra, <laughs> I, it'll fucking do it every time. I love it though, and it's gonna fucking clear the pipes, bitch. It's gonna clear the pipes. I need to get that colon cleansing, y'all. <laughs> I say you must say we need to go get a shake after this, <laughs> <laughs> right? Babe, they're trying to be snatched for no one's birthday party. Imagine I'm all like, and you know, there's people that take laxatives to lose weight. That's, yeah, that's fucking like laxatives. Though. That's crazy, it? girl. You ever take your stomach? I don't think I've ever taken lax. Oh, I did actually. When I um, it's a stool softener. When I had my C-section, because girl, oh, there's times that you need it. Yet when I was extremely constipated, crazy. When I was C-section. super constipated in the beginning after my surgery, like the doctor would say, like if you need to take laxatives. Because if you're not shitting for days, baby, something got to get it out. I wonder what it is after a C-section that makes you constipated. Do you think it's a medication? It's not a medication, probably. Oh, my. Yeah. I have never been so constipated in my life. I have this, like, vivid memory. When I was using the restroom, I felt like my... <laughs> this is too much. I just say it. I just felt like my actual, like, insides were going to protrude out of how constipated I was what like i can't explain it like it was like you're pushing and pushing like my actual like um (laughs) stuff or just felt like it was gonna extrovert girl no have you ever crazy like have you ever been so constipated you're just pushing for dear life and you're like i need to take a break because i'm about to pull an elvis like i'm gonna pass away here on this that what happened huh he did did he die on the toilet or is that myth I think he did. Oh, may he rest in peace. He had other like he did. No, I think he, he had did. Other, he had. Other Wait, is that real? Like he actually died like pooping. He had other complications, and people think it was like because he was using the restroom. I think he was. He was using the restroom. Oh, but I don't think it was like because he was constipated that he passed. <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad laughing. I think he had like other complications. Okay, but is that is that real? Right, you could actually die pooping. Don't say that. Okay, now that's scary, girl. Hold on. Did you, but, but she could die sitting down just doing nothing. So, yeah, I mean, with anything. You're right. So, severe straining while defecating can be deadly in a number oh. of ways. For people who are chronically constipated have recently had heart attacks. I mean, heart surgery oh. or suffer from a number of other maladies. Okay, you know what? I do feel like... When it's really extreme, it could be extremely like you've never been sitting there and you're pushing for dear life and you're like, I need to pause. I'm gonna pop a blood vessel. Yes. Yeah, you do, and you do. And you're and you're sitting there and I will literally pause, like, okay, this is like kind of like when you're exercising, it's a rep, you're like, I need my one to two minute break because this could really pop an artery. Mm -hmm. You never been there where you're like, I pop an artery. I, not literally but when i mean like literally like a heart attack i don't know sometimes it really feels like that you're like oh let me slow the fuck I'm down like, catch my breath I a little bit breathe. and you're all Touch. sweating and shit you're like girl you know i cannot stand a bathroom that got no windows girl the little ventilator is barely working and is loud as shit i'm like i'm stressed out right now I'm so stressed. I'm like, I'm about to snip this shit and walk out. I can't do this, girl. I can't. It's the worst. It's Absolutely. So <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> the silence is crazy. <laughs> the silence is fucking loud. You Baby. Like, yeah, I'm, just... I'm done. Um, How did we even start talking about this? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, cow's milk. <laughs> yeah, girl. I'm just going to say I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> that's how it ends you like, <laughs> it's exactly that but i'm telling you it really does help loosen up some stool queen i mean period drink some shit you're allergic to you know like why <laughs> oh damn oh, no i'm just not <laughs> no not like that <laughs> but like technically being intolerant to something is that i mean we're not to meant it. to yeah also this past weekend was me and raul's uh anniversary oh, past week oh yeah our five-year anniversary uh, was, I think, like, two days before Noah's birthday. It was on Jasmine's prom. <gasps> oh, my gosh, Jasmine's prom, guys. It's been a busy month. It's been hectic. It's a busy-ass month. Uh-huh. I actually didn't realize how busy April was. Yeah. Mia's and I'm like, Mia's birthday is literally in days, too. 
Jasmine's so mom just happened. That was iconic. And uh-huh. and then it, it was on Raul and I's anniversary. We did. Ask me what we did. You? <laughs> like, I ask mean, me. you were just there <laughs> at With, the house. We did nothing. Yeah. And honestly, I don't know what it is. I just, we, we just were like, eh. Mm-hmm. We just didn't do anything. Well, it's because we have a we have a vacation plan for the end of the month. I think it's because it was it was Minina's birthday. It was I also mean, her. Uh, it no. was also her prom. Yeah. But we genuinely were like, we made dinner. <laughs> that was it. But oh my god, that's right. You guys have that vacation. Damn, that's a busy ass month for you, girl. I know, Queen. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But yeah, we did nothing. But we're five years married. You know what? That's something. You know? Five years. Wow. You guys are like seven years already huh, married. Um, Didn't you guys just get married like a year after us? Or was it two? I don't know. 2019. Oh, just kidding. Oh, yeah. Seven years. Wow. I lost count. It Time is flying by, That's bitch. So crazy. Time is flying too well, fast. The fact that Jasmine's prom was literally this year. Like what? I didn't even realize she was a senior, if I'm honest. Because she told me, know. I was like, wait, you're a junior or a senior? She was like, she went to prom last year too. I was like, bitch. Uh, what the fuck was I when this happened? I don't know if she went to prom. She said she went to her junior year too. Wow. Oh my gosh. I think this actually goes up on Mia's birthday. Really? It, just, it just clicked right now. This goes up on, on Friday. Mia's birthday. Mia's wow. birthday? No. Wait. I'm, I'm still. You're <laughs> on the wrong week, I'm girl. I'm the wrong fucking week. I was I'm like, telling you. Is a f- party I'm is telling 14. you the brain fog. I probably drank one too many milkshakes mixed me in the way. I I don't know. I'm telling you guys, I'm so congested. I can't think. Imagine like what? <laughs> it's taking over your brain. Bitch, what is going on with Gypsy Rose? Like Gypsy Rose mama. You know what? Did we see it coming? I think it was not fire. Yeah, it wasn't the D fire last week. I'm so confused. It's cuz I is really it? feel like this queen got married. She got married in, in jail. jail. I will respectfully never understand that. Like, I just don't how get do it, you, girl. How do you even get married in jail? I, it's crazy. Sounds a little... Not too, like... I don't know if this is, like, too much of, like, a fucked up question to ask, but I didn't know people had the right to get married in jail. Don't they take all your rights away? I mean, that sounds God, fucked up to do. say. That sounds fucked up no, to say. No, they can't take but, like, all your rights I don't, away. Don't you, like, give all your is rights away when you get arrested or oh, am I tripping? God, no way. I don't know. I'm fucking tripping, y'all. I don't not, and I don't mean that to say the insensitive at all. I just didn't know. I thought when you read your Miranda rights, it means your, your rights are being taken from you. I don't know. I, listen, y'all, i never been to jail. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, okay. I'm honestly, like, the whole getting married in jail thing, like, so the 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 rights you lose in prison are rights to vote, rights to their privacy, okay. and even some of the First Amendment rights. I mean, it sounds like the bare fucking minimum, bitch. Or in jail. I mean, I don't know what the fuck you did, girl. So yes, you deserve to lose those rights. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm all trying to be sympathetic, but no, like why? Like, I mean, if you did the crime, you know, you do the, the crime, price. baby. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, she did the fucking time. Um. I just, I, I guess I don't understand like how it works with getting married there. there. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you even, because aren't you supposed to, to, supposedly not supposed to have like too much contact to the outside world unless you're getting visits? I think that's where it's kind of crazy when you marry somebody in jail. And her man also looked a lot like his mom, her mom. Mm. He looked a lot like her mom. And I saw somebody say like, do you think that maybe she's, the comments got to her? Of people telling her that he looked like her mom. I and she started was, to see it. I mean, I think it w- I heard he was more like controlling and stuff. I don't know if that's. Like oh, that did come out. A yeah. rumor. But I mean, you, you they didn't know each other, Karina. Like they didn't know each other like that. Like, yeah, you're writing letters to each other, but you don't know each other. To marry Like each y'all other. never like were together physically. So... Yeah, now she's with her ex fiance. Was it the one they were talking about on that podcast? Yes. Oh, she is the one. She is his name to Nick? worry about Nick, or is Nick the one that killed her mom? It's a whole love triangle. It was the one that he that she was probably telling him not to worry about Karina. That's crazy. She was because when they came, when she came out of jail, she was on a podcast saying, "My ex is like hitting up my my parents now." Like, well, like. Her stepmom, if oh. you will, obviously. 
Um, and uh, he was hitting her up, and then she was like, "That's weird." All of a sudden, I'm, I'm out of jail, and she was basically throwing shade at him. But she's like, "It's funny, girl, because not even a month later, y'all got matching tattoos, baby." That's crazy, huh? Was maybe was she maybe his first love, and she he never got over her? Yeah, I mean, apparently the deal wasn't that fire. Anyway, isn't that crazy? I the whole thing about men never getting over their first love. Is that real? I think it, like, guys are confirming it for sure. <gasps> oh, what? That's crazy. I mean, I think it's like that. I mean, no. I I feel like for a lot of people, their first love, like, it would, like, realistically, me and Brian have been together for so many years. Like, I even told him. I was like, I want to know if I was your first love because I but knew he was dating people. Does that me. exactly? What does the first love mean? Like, is it the first person they date, or is it the first person they genuinely have a, like a like a long term relationship? Like, it could be a long term relationship. Normally, that's when it's your real first love, right? But like, love Raul, doesn't come like that. It can come in just being together for a couple months too. Because I know Raul dated a couple bitches here and there for a day or two. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> A day or two is crazy. I'm like, but did he love them? I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just um, not even with a day or two, girl. <laughs> I don't know. I actually, I don't know much about Rose. Like, I literally just know of like one legitimate girlfriend he had for a couple months. Okay. And like, I know that he like he dated, but like, I think on uh, like girlfriends, like he literally only had like a girlfriend for a couple months before he met me. Yeah. And and then we started dating really young too. So like. I think it's like not a bad thing when you're open to talking about your past. Like, I know for some, I love to know all this fucking tea. I'm the kind that asks questions, and I know for some people, it's like off limits to ask because it's not, it's the past. And I'm like, I think it's okay to like know, like at least like how many people they were with and were they long term? Did you live with her? Like, I think those are important questions. Yeah, those are good questions to I ask. I think you would get to know the person too just by knowing like. Who they've dated or not maybe maybe not who but like yeah. i was a person i'm like how many girlfriends have you had how many have you slept with like i was asking those questions oh i know it sounds crazy because not everybody want to know those things i do but I, I wanted to know his body count because i think i i would um probably get an idea like how many girlfriends he's had and you know what i mean like duh but it but it is i i feel like looking at other couples karina a lot of people are very like it's off limits to talk about their past because it's in the past but i just i don't think there's anything wrong with it i don't give a fuck i'm asking all the questions if and anything he's like why do you care i'm like i just want to know why about i think i'm in, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a very stable mindset now like i've been with him for so many years that i could hear it and it won't like phase me i think it's funny tell me i mean tell was me. i asking those you questions just... as we first started dating yes i, I was like, all creepy <laughs> why what was the reason i don't know but i just i felt like it was my way of understanding who he was and what you're getting yourself into and what i'm getting myself because into exactly. also Myra, like you know we're just you know th you're just lucky that you found your man at a young age and y'all lived happily ever after right mm -hmm. but there's a lot of women in their 30s 40s that are you know dating and they're asking those questions because he's sexually active you know she's sexually active and they're thinking like you know yeah who you who you sleeping around with exactly i think that's you know, important right like, you don't want to get like you know i was i was asking the questions like have you got tested like all those oh no way yeah okay you, know, you just gotta be sure you know mm -hmm. um so i kind of have like an idea right like you know if they were long term or not like his relationships and maybe i had i did have some questions like well maybe i wasn't his first love right and <laughs> i did talk to him and he was like you were my first love uh, they all gonna say that baby <laughs> that's so real what is he gonna say i was like no i know right i know well but i do believe it okay <laughs> i do because, because i need to you imagine me right? <laughs> i don't got an <laughs> option baby imagine anyway starts crying imagine. <laughs> no i believe it because i believe you can be in lust i i feel like you could be sprung i feel like there's st different stages before you get to know what real love is and he didn't have like long long-term relationships it was a crush if you will and i'm like uh -huh. maybe in that time he thought it was love 
until he met me. <laughs> that did no, no, no. But you know what I mean? Like, of course. you can't say someone you dated for a few months compared to someone you've dated for years. Like, I told Brian this. I'm like, yeah, if we were, we were a relationship. Uh, <laughs> I I'll just fucking with bring you. Bring it out <laughs> and bring the exes. Imagine, like, what? <laughs> imagine. So, what did he tell you? Ah, uh, imagine. If you really look back, I mean, I don't care if I was head over heels over a bitch. <laughs> like because I, I really have to be realistic like okay that's cute he loved her yeah another you woman know? had to be his everything at some point yeah like you know like i don't know like you know it makes me think um you know from what i know raul got dumped so oh <laughs> god freaking like um <laughs> so it wasn't his choice so uh, you know shit. Oh, as far as i'm broken as far as I know, he could have married the bitch if she would have allowed it. I was gonna, I just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, though, you have to look at things and be like, literally, like, how young were y'all dating? Y'all were like 17, even. <laughs> yeah, like, I want to be, I'm you know? being realistic. Like, even he was head over heels with a bitch at 12. I'm it's being okay, realistic, girl. And I'm like, okay, he was a teenager, like, and it was just a few months as long as relationship. I'm being realistic, Karina. Like, yes. And I feel like, I mean, it depends, of right? Of course, everyone's curious. But I think if, like, this I, I, this is all I, 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 I even told Brian. I'm like, if I, if it had not worked out between I don't and think Brian, he'd be tripping over a bitchy dating at 13. I don't think so. If me yeah, and Brian sure. had not worked out, and we probably broke it off at, like, three, four years, I'm sorry, but, like, I, I would, I will always remember him. Because he was such a big part of my life even if it was okay. just those few first years time, like, it was my first he was truly he was truly my first love okay so no yeah y'all have really it's crazy how y'all really like yeah have i truly for so long tell you like oh maybe yeah who knows like what my future would have been like but i would always think of oh that guy i dated for so and so many years and he said the same thing about me i have like, to disagree because okay. Well, okay. I'm like I'm over here speaking for you. Like, what? <laughs> no, oh, that sounds so stupid. You are not his first love. <laughs> no, you are. I genuinely. Oh my god. You know, and you know what? I'm not about you anymore. I'm sorry. I did tell Brian. I'm like, you know what? It's cute that you're saying it, but there's a high chance. No, there was somebody before me. But it's I'm okay. saying there is a first and second love exists. You know that. And then there's the wife, baby. That's all that matters. And the yeah. third one is just he just settled with you, Pusiano. Oh no! So it's funny because, and I'm not even speaking about like, like I, tr I genuinely do believe that that you're his first love because, yeah, you guys were like literally children. What I'm saying, anything before him, I'm sure he's not reminiscing on a bitch he dated when he was 14. Mm -hmm. Like you know, well, he wasn't 14. Because how you were saying, you're like, well, we dated for if we would have just dated for a few years and we would have broken it up, I would have still remember him for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I was a as a kid and very early teen years. I was in a relationship for literally like three or four years and I could genuinely say we were kids. It means nothing mm. like at literally like, yeah, it's okay. like, it's cute. I learned a lot with you. But we were kids. Mm -hmm. It had so different. Like that's why I say with Raul too. I'm like, he could be, he could have been head over heels over this bitch at 16 years old. They were chamacos. I could face an ex i could face raul's exes and be like hi and like be like whatever i wouldn't be like all rowdy up it would it's like you were children mm -hmm. like for me it's like yeah it's cute if you were in love with her that's fine and maybe she was your first love but but y'all were children you're grown <laughs> now you're, like, like, you're a baby daddy now but... now you've grown <laughs> with a grown woman you know like, <laughs> so like why i don't all mad like girl all, <laughs> all fucking like condescending you like what yeah like well, whatever well, reason well you know what yeah maybe it is different maybe because i have love for brian right now that he's my husband maybe if it was like like how you said maybe who knows i think it depends on the relationship i don't know i, really I think it know. is crazy though like how y'all have been together for life it's crazy mm -hmm. well not for and life but life for we we probably could really jump into like a good podcast where we do talk about our ups and downs because dating is super super young you have a lot of ups and downs i literally was watching a podcast i think it was adriana jorge how they were talking about like their their entire like how they had their toxic stages and stuff uh -huh. wow. like does every relationship go through a toxic stage mm -hmm. Yeah, think and does about, it depend on some stuff? Think about the toxicness I went through, sixteen-year-old me, dating. 
Oh, did you guys go through a toxic stage, would you say? Oh, of course. Okay. Many. Like, the first few years, it was... I've heard, I think, if you make it past... I'm not... If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's the fifth or seventh year. Or I don't know if that's too deep in. But you, if you made it then, you could make it forever. <laughs> that's what I heard. I heard that there's four stages of love. Okay. There's a honeymoon. <laughs> you're like let me pull my phone and another. i think the second one is like it gets hard i don't know the name but it gets hard mm-hmm. and that's the toughest stage myra a lot of relationships never make it out of phase two because really? phase two is the rocky phase honeymoon just lifted you're starting to get icks about each other you don't like this shit about him he doesn't like this about you you clash a lot and you could be together for someone 10 20 30 years and some people will never make it out of that second There's phase. There's stages of love? There's four. I don't know. I don't know. I just read. I saw on TikTok there was four. Attraction, infatuation, All right. love, reference, worship, obsession, okay. and death. Okay. I think it's like that's kind of more vague. Mm-hmm. I feel like, but you know what I mean? Like the first stage, Mara, your honeymoon stage. Mm-hmm. You're so in love with each other. You just want to be with each other constantly. You're like a cloud nine for like the first year. Mm-hmm. That's real. Yeah. And then phase two, you start to get to know each other. You start getting comfortable with each other. You start fighting. Little shit you don't like about each other. The real you starts to come out. The real them starts to come out. You start to notice the little shit you don't like about each other. Mm -hmm. You start fighting more. And that's the phase that a lot of people can be stuck in. I also feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like you have to work on um, keeping that spark. Like I'm choosing to love you today. Okay, so that what will help you transition into phase three mm-hmm. a lot of relationships Myra. you could be with someone for four years 20 years mm-hmm. and somebody at five years could be past the third stage already someone at 20 they've been together for 10 20 years and they're still not past phase two that phase two where like they annoy each other they're fighting some people never make it out of that phase Oh, wow. But how you're saying that you're choosing to see past all the bullshit and you're choosing to love them. all the bullshit is crazy. (laughs) You're choosing to. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Blind yourself. No, no, no. That's different. I think if you clearly are not seeing the fucking red flags, I think that's delusion. Yeah. Stage delusion. (laughs) Delusion. I feel like I've learned a lot with. I feel like this would be a good segment. Like if Brian was here. I really feel like we have been together for a really long time that I would feel like I would give really good advice to somebody. Yes. Like, I truly do. I feel like when you are with somebody long term, you're not going to have butterflies every single day like you did in the beginning. I feel like you are literally choosing who you are going to be that day to that person. Uh-huh. Like, it truly. I oh, feel yeah. Like, and it's all the phases. And there's going to be like, different phases. There's going to be phases yes. where... I don't even want to look at him. I'm like, girl. Okay. Being so you have, today. right? You have those moments, yeah. but also like, that's, so that's phase three, right? Mm-hmm. So phase two, fighting, rah, whatever. Rattled up. Phase three. We're still having the occasional fights, mm-hmm. but I'm looking past it and I know we're unbreakable anyway. Yeah. You annoy the fuck out of me. I know you hate yeah. me sometimes. I know you can't even look at me some days. Like, I know I'm annoying as fuck to Raul sometimes and I know he's annoying as fuck to me. We have our ex about each other. But you know you're like, but we're together, period. Yeah. But but we are, we're in this together. I I can't stand you, but I can't live without you. Yeah. I love you to pieces. That's stage three, right? Okay. Stage four is when you are just so in sync with each other, full connection, you're one. Mm-hmm. And that's the goal for every marriage, bitch. Wow. Stage four where you just know. Mm-hmm. Untouchable, bitch. Yeah. Only so, death to do us part. So <laughs> I love a church. I've been going to church recently, and they had a really great discussion. A uh, discussion this past Sunday, the pastor was talking about the way you confront something that bugs you about your partner, and sometimes it's how you say it that might be offensive. Therapy helps when it too. comes with love. Truly, like, take it in as advice because that I feel sounds like everybody that has- sounds like a therapist, yeah. Because that's what a therapist will tell you like, you can't, you know, a lot of times problems don't have solutions, it's how you react to them. People have room to grow, just like I tell Brian something, I don't like this about you, and he's like, Well, that's not- no, change it because I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> and that's how I and I tell him, 
I know I'm not perfect, Hell, I'm but I'm not, not changing you. I no. like, imagine? But I told him, I'm like, I'm very open about like, I don't like this about you. Like, you should try to change it. And the same way with me, I'm like, if you don't like something about me, I need to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, truly. So when like, I was, it's just funny how you worded that. So if I don't like something about you, you got to change that shit. <laughs> If I don't like something, I'll work on it. <laughs> no, no, because I truly believe, like, if you're not willing to change as a human, the fuck? Like, what do you think you are? That is so, that's so fucking real, bitch. I don't care how perfect you are walking around. Like, yeah. if you think you have no room for growth, you are a narcissist. Like, Period. I truly. Everybody has room for growth. And I also believe, like, I feel like sometimes, and I, I mean, I've gone through every stage with Brian. I feel like when you have those arguments where you're like, I'm leaving. I'm done. Like, this is it. Like, of course. I feel like we've all had those stages where it's a like, stupid argument. so fucking annoying. And it's like, you're literally over them. And I feel like a lot of relationships are like one fight and they're like already like divorcing or they're already separating. Like, no, it's true. Like, and yeah. you're like, okay, you have to like learn to like get over that fight. And they're going to keep happening because that's what it's like when you're married to somebody. You're going to have disagreements. Yeah. Lust like, and love are so different. Yeah. Like, you have to you like you know people think the grass is greener on the other side and i know it sounds cringy but it's truly green where you water it did you see the tiktok that said it said I, why am i doing this all day <laughs> what today? Going on today oh my god i've had 10 brain farts today <laughs> the tiktok that says you will know of how much a woman loves herself for who she's cheap <laughs> oh my god i can't speak <laughs> What? I got so annoying. Oh my god. You will know how much a woman loves herself from who she chooses as a partner. Wow. And that speaks volumes, Myra. If you're with someone that treats you like shit and you're allowing all that, that shows your self love. How much you love yourself as a person because it's what you think you deserve. Oh. And that I saw that TikTok and I was like, OMG. Wow. Yes, because you're like how much you love yourself and what you think you're you deserve is what you should be allowing. Yeah. Period. I think it speaks for anybody. And how many toxic relationships do you see where you're just like That's ah. one thing I'll say. Me and Brian have been together for so many years, but I feel like you need to know that there's limits. <laughs> because I tell Brian till this day. You're a great husband. You have amazing qualities. But if you ever did this, if you ever did that, I'm sorry. I, you're not getting Trust a second chance. Mm-hmm. So when I say that you could make it work and water the grass. No, baby, if you are. For me, I have specific things that I would not allow. If you do one of those, go water your own fucking grass because I'm out of here. Let girl. the bitch water your grass at that point of view, because See, that's one thing for me. But also, Mario, like, do you ever think, like, it's so crazy because it's so easy for us to say one thing. Like, for me, one thing I always say, tell Raul, like, infidelity infidelity to me, you're fucking cut. I Dead to in- me. Infidelity and abuse. Okay, exactly. And even, like, verbal abuse. Like, I'm 100%. not even kidding. Like, I don't know. It's just certain things like that. I'm just like, I just wouldn't. And I feel like verbal abuse is just as harmful. It's just as fucking bad. Yes. Yeah, and I feel like our mans are very respectful. Yeah. Brian might catch a little attitude. Maybe he might be like a little stubborn, but he's never disrespected me verbally. And I feel like that it would be something that I would be like very like taken back from. You need to have a fucking checklist of what you want in a fucking man. And but also... I think you have to be realistic. Like, this is what I mean, like... A realistic checklist. I'm not yes. talking about, he better be a fucking, like, millionaire. He he better, like, have this, have that. We're not talking about yeah. materialistic shit. We're not talking about stuff like that. I'm talking about, like, you got to look at, like, the important things like, in life. Yeah. Not I think- like, does he have abs? Does he have this and that? It's like... Adrian had made a perfect example once when she was looking for her, her husband. She said... She had to, you know, realize it's like when you're on Zillow looking for a home and you have a checklist and then you see one house, you're like, it's beautiful, but it doesn't have the pool that I want. It's beautiful, but it's not two story. It's beautiful, but I hate the kitchen. I mean, like you will never find the exact home. And it, and sometimes it's like that with a relationship, like you're not going to find 
the perfect human because that doesn't exist. Uh-uh. Like, I know I have my flaws, too. I'm sure there's shit Brian would love to change about me. <laughs> and the same way with him. Like, of he course, has his flaws, yeah. too. But you have to literally, like, suck it up. I think having a realistic checklist and having certain things be a fucking priority. Like, apps yep. should not be a priority. It should be him being a good fucking man. Because mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes people, like, they have, they're in a really shitty relationship. And they're like, well, nobody's perfect. And it's like, no. actually, no, he's a piece of shit. Yep. So I think having certain priorities in a man, mm-hmm. like having a certain fucking checklist, because some people out there like be having some stupid ass checklists that yeah. I'm like, you're not even considering anything about his qualities. Mm-hmm. Like you need you need to have a good fucking man that's going to be there in the good and the bad. And mm-hmm. that's going to be there with you for life, baby. Yep. You got it. Y'all got to structure these partners for your own value. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you deserve to be treated? Yep. Period. Period, queen. But I think we're going to wrap up this episode. If you guys, like always, are listening from Apple Podcasts, make sure you guys rate and give it a thumbs up, right? Or can you not give thumbs up on Spotify, queen? I think you could um, rate it and subscribe. Okay, rate and subscribe. And if you're tuning in from YouTube, hey, queen, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Until then, queen, have a fantabulous weekend. And we'll see y'all in the next one.